Hello, um, welcome. Today we have a uh, yoga with a little bar infused in it, and I hope you enjoy it. My name is Maria, and it's going to be around three minutes last. So we're going to start in a comfortable seat. So you can go ahead and cross your feet, or if kneeling is more comfortable, or even on a chair or a couch. Uh, we're not going to need any equipment today, and I hope you enjoy it. So let's start just sit, trying to sit up, sitting up straight, lengthening our spine and bringing our, our shoulders down. And let's start to focus on our breathing. So try to make your inhales and your exhales longer each time. And try to feel how your belly is filling up with air and then contracts every time you exhale. So we want to make sure our spine is really elongated and that you're trying to relax and release other tension you have around in your body. So we're going to start by loosening up our neck. So we're going to look towards the right and start doing big circles with the nose on this direction. Just circle, circles, big, very big circles with the nose. Releasing all the tension in your shoulders and your neck. Breathe. You can go ahead and close your eyes if you need to. Okay, come back to center. And then we're going to do that on the opposite direction. So stretching that neck. Make sure your spine's straight and that you're breathing deeply. Keep that motion going. We're going to come back to center. Now let's focus on our spine again. Make sure that spine is really long and that your shoulder blades are sliding down through your back. So they're releasing. Now we're going to uh, put our, ear, our right ear close to our right shoulder without, without that shoulder coming up. And we're just going to put our hand on top of our head and let the weight of our arm, pull that neck towards the shoulder. So don't crank it, but just let the weight of your arm do all the work. Breathe deeply. And release. Now we're going to do the same on the other side. So left ear to left shoulder and we're just going to let the weight of our arm pull that neck so really soft and really gentle breathe deeply and coming back to center Keep that spine really long and we're going to inch bring our hands to our heart. And from here we're going to exhale and interlace our fingers. And inhale, we're going to stretch them forward, up, really elongate that spine and exhale, release. One more time, hands to center, interlace, inhale forward. Up and back. Ah, exhale, release. One more time. Inhale. And exhale, release. Now we're going to put our left palm on the floor. We're going to elongate our right side of our body really, really tall. And now we're going to bring that to the side, really focusing on that spine and that open heart. Keep your lungs open. Keep 
Feel how each inhale makes the skin of your side body expand. And each exhale contract. Come back to center. And we're going to switch. So right hand down. And we're going to elongate first up really, really tall. And exhale right down to the side. Stretching that side body. Breathing really deep and feeling the skin stretch. Come back to center. And from here we're going to come to all four. So we're going to really expand. First our hands forward. Look at our hands. Feel each finger expanding. And now we're going to bring it to all fours. So be really aware of your position here. Make sure your knees are underneath your hips. Your arms are underneath your shoulders. And you're being really aware of each fingertip. And also aware of your toes at the back. So make sure your back is straight. You're pulling in your core. Having a little doping effect here. And we're going to do some cat cow to warm up the spine. So we're going to inhale and let our belly draw. And exhale from your tail, we're going to bring it up to cow. Rounding and bringing the chin in. Now follow your breath. Inhale. And exhale from your hip, pulling in that Keep it going with your own rhythm, warming up that spine. On your next cow, we're going to uh, we're going to move a little bit more. We're going to come towards the side and round. So like scraping a jar of peanut butter. And reverse. Always breathing. So alternate the direction. Warming up that spine. And put that back really straight. Now make sure you're pulling your core in and you're breathing and we're just going to let our knees hover for a little bit to test our core and our strength. So we're just going to lift in an inhale, both knees up and hover here for a few seconds. Breathe. Make sure you're pulling in your core. Inhale and exhale. Keep it going and release. From here, we're going to extend our, our right leg out really long. You can move forward to back, getting a little stretch in that calf and that leg. From here, we're going to inhale and lift that leg. Make sure that hip is grounded so your toes are trying to face the opposite side of your mat if you have one. And we're going to extend our opposite arm if it's available for you. And we're going to hold it here for a second. Make sure you're pulling in your core. And exhale. We're going to bring it in around that spine. Knee to nose. And release. Stretch. Do that one more time. Really contracting. And elongate really, really long and release. Okay, cat cow, just one time. Inhale, drop that belly, open your throat and heart. And exhale from your back. We're going to go and come to straighten back. Now we're going to. Extend our left leg 
and just move forward and back a little bit, stretching that calf, stretching that leg. And from here, we're going to lift that leg. Just here, focusing on that form, making sure you're pulling that core in, keeping those lungs open. And make sure your foot, your toes are facing the opposite direction. So they're facing in, that way your hips are level. And we're going to extend our opposite arm. So really feel that pull on your leg and on your arm. And we're going to inhale and contract. Bring it in. Don't let it burn. And here, stretch. Do that one more time. Yeah. 
Inhale, flat back. Exhale, back to forward plank. From here, you can either step to plank or hop all the way to plank. And you can hold it here for a second. Either on your knees or all the way on your toes and come to downward facing dog. From here we're going to lift our right leg up high and bring it up to that lunge. Keep that back knee lifted. And we're going to inhale, bring those arms up. So really strong knee to, um, uh, over the ankle. You can go ahead and bend your back knee to get that um, your hips level and your pelvis comes in. And then you can go ahead and straighten it once you feel comfortable. Inhale, bring your hands back to the center. And from here, we're going to inhale and twist. We're going to put our, our elbow, left elbow, on the outer side of our right knee and twist towards the left. Make sure you're keeping a straight spine. Inhale. breathing and relaxing. From here we're going to extend forward, up and back, peaceful warrior, keeping that front knee bent. Stretching through the side of your body. Coming forward and from here you can put your elbow on your knee and twist here or and a triangle or extend your arm towards And exhale, tip it on the back foot, coming back to that one. Opening your heart and taking your palm down and bring it down back to front. And let's go. And then we'll keep the same thing on the other side. Inhale. And exhale, coming down with the arm. Stretching, pedal it out. And then we're going to lift our left leg up. And forward for that lunge. So we're going to keep it low here, keep that back knee lifted. And from here, we're going to inhale, bring those arms up overhead. Now you can bend your back knee to get a good form. Otherwise, keep it straight. Breathe, open your heart. Maybe you can do a little back bend if that is available for you. Inhale and bring, exhale, hands back to center. And from here we're going to twist, so elongate that spine, and from there we're going to twist towards the right. So feeling like you're pulling your heart towards your hands. Inhale, feel that belly up. Unravel. Bring those arms up over your head. Really 
slowly elongating that spine and pivot on the back foot, opening to warrior two. Arms back. Make sure you're 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 um balancing your weight between your feet, elongating that spine, breathing. And from here we're going to come forward, up and back to peaceful warrior here, keeping that front knee bent and the back knee straight. Now release. You can either put your forearm on your bent knee or extend and twist. Keeping an open heart, breathing. Flat palms. And we're going to step it back to the feet. And float. Coming back to downward facing dog. And from here we're going to step, little steps forward, all the way to forward fold. Inhale to a flat back position, and exhale, release. And inhale, we're going to come all the way up, stretching that spine. And we're going to open the chest, exhale, thumbs back, pinkies forward, cactus arms, really opening that chest. And exhale, come back up, really stretching through the fingertips. Inhale and exhale, forward, forward. Inhale to flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Stay here for a little bit, passing up, elbows and swinging from side to side. And from here, releasing all the tension you have in your neck and shoulders. Keeping all the yes. So make sure that neck is really relaxed. Plant the palms, step the one foot back and then the other. Last call for slow. Bring it forward and down. Inhale. And exhale to the downward facing dog. Now we're going to stay here, breathing for a little bit, just stretching it out. You can pedal your feet. So really long, long breaths. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through your mouth. You can go ahead and sigh out. And let everything go.
breathing in. Rolling up really slow. One breath at a time. And from here we're going to just come to a comfortable seat. Just like we started. So first what we're gonna do first is stop pose. So let's extend our feet up and front. Keep those knees really straight and those those toes really active. Now we're gonna wanna keep that straight spine and we're just gonna bring our hands here and stretch, stretch really elongate that spine towards the sky and release extra tension that you may have in your shoulders or your face. Now we're gonna bring our arms up really elongate towards the sky and exhale, you can come forward, bend your knees if you need to, otherwise keep them straight and come forward and release the weight of your head forward. So you're going to feel that all stretch also through your back bone and your neck as well as the back of your legs. Breathe deeply, really long inhales. Really long exhales. Tingling up your lungs, your tummy, and then releasing. Roll it up really slow. Now we're going to bring our, our feet together, opening those hips. So we're going to Keep trying to keep that spine really long. Like if you have any strength pulling you up, we're gonna interlace our fingers and bring it round around our toes. And we're gonna try to ground your thighs down towards you. Elongate that spine, really long stretch. You can close your eyes, breathe. Feeling that opening through your hips. Really straight spine. And from here, we're going to bend our elbows, keep that spine straight, bring it forward, stretching that hip. Inhale, and then exhale, bow towards your feet. Feeling that stretch through your hips. your ankles if it's more comfortable or you can stay in this cobbler's or butterfly pose and we're going to keep do the same stretch we did at the beginning so we're going to let our our right ear fall towards our right shoulder and then we're going to let the weight of our arm simply pull your neck towards your shoulder no cranking no extra force just letting gravity and the weight of your arm do the work. Make sure you're keeping that spine straight and that you're breathing very deep. So releasing all the tension you may have in your neck and shoulders. Close your eyes and breathe.
exhale and release back to center. And we're going to do the same on the other side. So left ear forward to your left shoulder. And then we're going to let the weight of our arm pull us gently. Keeping the lungs open and releasing all the tension you may have in your neck and your shoulders. Remember just to let the weight of your arm do the work, so no extra press. Keeping that spine really long and to exhale and release back to center. Great job. From here, we're going to come and lay down flat on our backs. And we're going to hug our knees into our chest, keeping that straight spine and elongated neck. And just move around in a way that feels good, keeping those shoulders open and those lungs open. So just move, massaging the, your lower back. From here, we're gonna pull the right leg in and extend our left leg out really long. And on our next inhale, we're gonna twist towards the left, rounding our right shoulder and bringing our right ear towards the Twisting and stretching. Keeping those lungs open. Feel your skin stretching with each going to bring that left knee up and cross our right ankle over our left leg. And we're going to thread the needle here and stretch the figure four stretch. Stretching the back of your leg, your thigh, your pillow, outer part of your thigh, your glutes, your hip. Close your eyes, breathe, release your jaw, release the skin of your forehead. And release. Now we're going to switch. So bring that left leg close to your chest and we're going to extend our right leg out really, really long. Keeping those deep breaths going. Inhale, and on your exhale, you're going to twist towards the right, keeping that left shoulder grounded and that right left left ear forward to the left side. Stretch through your whole body. Keep your lungs open. Close your eyes and relax. Focus on your breath. get back to center. Bring that left, right knee up and left leg over the right. We're going to thread the needle and stretch that hip. Feel that opening through your hip. Inhale, make sure you have an open chest, open heart, breathing.
coming down. Release very gently. If you feel you need any more stretching, go ahead and do it now. Otherwise, just extend your legs out really, really long. And we're going to bring our arms up overhead. And we're going to stretch, stretch, stretch. Like if they were pulling you in opposite ways. Like when you wake up in the morning, really long stretch. Breathe and exhale, release. Let your arms drop down gently towards your sides. Open those legs out long. Opening that chest and release. Let every single muscle of your body release. And give yourself some time just to be there. Just to lay down and close your eyes and breathe. Release any tension in your face, your forehead, your eyes, your jaw. Release tension in your hands, your fingers, your toes. Go ahead and scan your whole body and try to release every single muscle. Make your breath be deeper each time and let your mind go blank. When you're ready, come to a comfortable seat. Or if you have more time, just stay there laying on your back for as long as it's possible, clearing your mind and releasing all the tension in your body. We do so many things every day and we're always so busy. Um, we sometimes forget it's important for us to give us time to do nothing, just to lay down and breathe. So I hope you enjoyed today's workout and we hope you join us for the rest of the workouts we have. And thank you so much for joining us.